All right, welcome back. Now, still the Good Morning Ninja Show. And we still day here with Ona. We believe so. Now, still day with us. Ona, thank you for being with us on this whole journey. Yes, uh, we just finished our newspaper um, Tory segment. So, we'll give Ona some kind of um, explanation on things waiting on top of the newspaper. So, you will know which one you will go by. And we promise Ona, say the next conversation we won't get now will be very, very, very insightful to you. We will speak to a legal practitioner and activist. Uh, his name na uh, Ogadili Farotimi. And we'll discuss this uh, legality of arrest made by the police during this uh, lucky toll gate situation we happened on Saturday. The peaceful protesters will come out will be there with their arrest. They carry them, go inside Black Maria. I can't charge them, go court also. Say they do some kind of badment for the society. Oga, uh, Dele, good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning, bro. All Thanks right, sir. Yes, we do. Okay. And uh, I did here with my brother, um, Ezugu Chukudi. Now we could run this conversation together with you this morning. Good to have. All right, sir. So make we uh, jump into this matter as uh, direct as possible. Uh, now, about the uh, legality of the arrest we been take place on Saturday, uh, make we start from there. She is it legal for uh, even uh, the, for, for the police to arrest peaceful protesters first? And uh, the fact say the protesters, according to the government, they say they don't want to even hear any kind of protest in the first place. Say uh, even if say it did constitutional rights for a citizen to exercise. Uh, but because of the kind situation and the likelihood, say, they go feel hijack them, uh, so they, 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 they talk, say, make nobody try that kind of thing. Say, with this kind of conversation, say, is they legal? Make we say, begin from there first. Well, uh, thank God, say, now I'm talking with the talk. Yes, yeah, so. If I like, I fit even fire guns, say, they scatter <laughs> ground with all kind of uh, obai yagma grammar to it. <laughs> so maybe we begin like this. You ask the question. Yes, sir. And the first of those questions is, is it legal? Is, is this lawful, this prohibition of peaceful assembly? Mm. The fact of the matter is that Nigeria is not the laws. We tell ourselves a whole lot of different lies, use words that not mean what they are meant to mean. Mm. And because of this, we tend to get lost and not identify the real issue. Yeah. The first question is, are we even sick? Mm. I think it's very important to ask the question of ourselves. The second question that we must necessarily ask is, are we in a democracy? Okay. These two questions are very important, but there is a term that is by far more important. I we a country a law. Hmm. Now, if you now take up, let's go to the foundation of problems. It is the third of the questions I just had. A country ruled by law. Is it possible that in a country by law, yeah. where the law is very clear, section 40 of the Effective fraudulent constitution, which we run, expressly gives time and the freedom to attempt. Mm -hmm. The Nigerian state, which should be a creation of law, created by the institution, mm -hmm. employing the instrumentality of agencies of who are also patients of law, yes. as elected to violently abrogate the right to that freedom of assembly association. But when we look at this, we, take, we tend to look at them again, in so I'll give you a brief. Nigeria is a thing to the 1960 ICCPR Agreement, that's the international agreement governing human rights. Mm. But there is something very important about our membership. The protocol that would not really have allowed individuals and organizations within the to petition the United Nations, Nigeria refused to sign our. So the first option for 
optional. You've signed on, it's optional whether you allow your citizens to have access to international countries. Nigeria refused to have one. The 1994, Nigeria, that for Africa now, the African right? you find very quickly that Nigeria is of a citizen to assess the legal redress available under that chart. So you begin to understand very quickly that the Nigerian state has always understood that it cannot afford to afford it. Okay, shall I say member? It cannot afford to allow citizenship. Because if they have citizenship, they be able to challenge its actions hmm. based on global standards. Nigeria yeah. creates different standards different from the rest. Hmm. That is the only reason why it is possible for the Nigerian government to exist outside of the laws that demand that citizens hold you are there to. So let's first of all get something clear. The Nigerian is, is a member of the state. Mm -hmm. The 1999 the Constitution of Nigeria, which says we the, is a lie. That document is this solely for the privilege of who rules Nigeria. They are not bound by it. And the rules are what they the rules are. And interesting. The Nigerian, which is meant to be a law enforcement agency, mm -hmm. paper one, only ever decides that, no, 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 let me just say that it doesn't even have the capacity to decide. What happens is law is what the plan tell it is. Hmm. So the local government chairman can build the constitution within it. The governor may decide what the law within it. Mm -hmm. And of course, whatever it happens, whichever a border is living inside the rock in Asso becomes a de facto era of law. Whether the person acts the person as the actual effort or eventually withdraw as the current but the important thing is at the end of the person of the era mm -hmm. decrease the law. Nigeria is governed. So everything that you saw taking place on Saturday yes. was a show of shame. And it is also a way of confirming to the Nigerian, at least for those who have matters left in their ears, to discern it fully. People came out to protest fully. You yes. never find a more peaceful expression of disagreement. The only restriction of the right of us is the power of the state to disperse violent assembly. Yes. It was the most peaceful assembly any moment ever. What we all saw it, the Nigerian police was so shameless that they were busy grabbing people mm. who have done nothing and were busy stabbing them into black career. Mm -hmm. And if that wasn't the Oh, Lord, uh, the lack of professional awareness mm -hmm. that will make a policeman who has already himself so completely capable of obeying the law by stacking people up inside van, stripping them naked, and then the one large cloud. But, so I told you, I'm not saying clean him out. Yeah. But the that he gathered it, he said, he said that's not the after. He knew he was arrested. Yeah. But he did not stop him from coming out. Look, I had a meeting with some of the organizers and I recorded them specifically. I said, one, Nigerian state will not have to protest. However, you might try to. Mm -hmm. Expect them to have more policemen on ground and to find anywhere fighting any threat to mm -hmm. national security. And that was exactly what So we always need to do exactly what is important. The benefit of those people continue to imagine their democracy. Mm -hmm. It was exceedingly important that they should see Nigeria 
stripping itself to glare of the hmm. policeman. After they were done humanizing and putting people, they started filming them yes. and then posting. Yes. How shameless. Right? How do you shame this? Hmm. So when we're talking about Parkland on Saturday, for me, if we must truly appreciate the sacrifice of the 40 individuals that were arrested and brutalized on that male and female life, if we must appreciate their sacrifice, it is for us to first of all take up our blinkers, putting ourselves about the nature of the country we are living in. Hmm. We are living fascist okay. dictatorship. It pretends to be a democracy, mm -hmm. but not one. The only thing I might say, yes. if there was any about Saturday, it was the I must say thanks to the concern of the state. At the end of the day, at least somebody right. Mm. He, he moved. And he moved and he, to, a, to a very large extent. We are thankful for that. People didn't have to sleep. They were never been arrested. In, should in the never first place. Have, yes. It should never ever happen. It should never ever happen. It is just for the affirmation. Mm -hmm. And that people should just open their eyes and understand what we are dealing with. You can't go to your place. That's just the reality. Ogadele, Oga make I ask this very important question. Mm. Uh, like True, you brother. talk, the Attorney General uh, be take some kind better worker to see, say, these 40 people when they arrest, say, they build them and they not sleep for detention. But the Commissioner of Police, uh, Oga Udumo Sudan, come out to talk, say, the officers, them, when do this particular badness, and one will see video of how they pack them inside moto, uh, somebody mm. can't talk to them anyhow. Say they go mm. do investigation to see yeah, say they get right. to the root of this matter. <laughs> <laughs> and I laugh you, they laugh, oh. You know? You know, suppose laugh. You, you know, no way to fella talk. Is it not laugh, laugh, catch monkey? You know, rich make person laugh. Hmm. Let me explain something to you. The cycle of impunity that governs Nigeria cannot allow anybody to touch any one of them. Let's be clear about it. Each and every Nigerian police is an assessor of the crimes of a ruler. They know what a ruler is. They are instruments of illegality. If they take the stop to paying unlawful order, that is the day they will start getting for doing the kind of things those ones on they did. They were already engaged in an unlawful enterprise. Prevention of a lawful assembly. In a sense, was I think every one of the policemen involved, including on the post itself, should be stripped of their But For because we are not in the democracy, the reality, the average idea man turns his gun on the Nigerian, kills the Nigerian with impunity, because that is what governs Nigerian police. And the Nigerians, the day Nigeria has to obey his own law, it collapses under the weight of his own impunity. Hmm. Hmm. This is not a country for us. Let's stop feeling else. All right. The people, for me, the important thing is, if you are an and you can see things because you can read. Yes. What see what happened on Sunday? If you didn't see the Nigerian state on the twentieth of October, they reintroduced themselves again in the most benign level of hesitation. Hmm. And them soldiers this time around. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, Ogadele, as the matter tongue don't be like this, uh, to just uh, wrap up this conversation, what if you say, she, for, um, legal implications day we suppose happen regarding this situation? Anything we suppose happen, we could read because as the matter take be, you don't see state time from beginning, say them even being there to stop the peaceful protest, now nah, illegal action with the, um, with the, uh, the Nigerian police force being take. The arrest of people, now nah, illegal action with they take. So, are we going to see implications or share implications suppose they in this kind well, of situation? You know, there is something you gentlemen need that when you put my you say legal practice, Maybe you should start 
one that should feed it. That is the one that is tired. Hmm. If I believe that the Nigerian state is governed by law, yes, I'll still be a little bit. Those who believe that they might find anything resembling forces within the system, mm -hmm. I encourage them to go ahead and sue. They have several grants, and they should. Okay. Because the more you test the law, the more you feel the fascist nature mm -hmm. of states. So it's fine. I would encourage them to do. All 40 of them should actually do. You'll see how quickly Kumosu that when he, he, the men he heard that they were out on his And they took their group from his own work. So when you talk about advice, you have to ahead and sue. The okay. public, every avenue to this fascist team naked, mm -hmm. should take it. They should take it. I wouldn't come out and speak to protest, but I'm not going to tell anybody who wants to not to do so. Yeah. I wouldn't do so because I know exactly what they would do. Hmm. I know it is not new. It didn't mean we worry. That has always been the case. I told you, since 1966, they respected our capacity to be treated as if other countries. So yeah. I'm talking about it goes far. Hmm. Nigeria is not governed by law. Wow, it's quite unfortunate. Sir. But uh, it's good to say you don't follow us talk this matter this morning and you don't shed more light on the situation we being happened and waiting we're going to need to do forward. Thank you very much, uh, Ogadele, for joining us this morning Thank on the Good Morning Show. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Thank uh, you for you. Yes, sir. All right, we just uh, finished our better conversation with uh, Oga Dele uh, Farutini, a uh, legal uh, practitioner and activist, and we don't get this whole yearning. Regarding the situation we happened for the Lekki Gate again on Saturday, the arrests, uh, the, the, the manhandling, the fact that they've been beat, these people, uh, according to reports where we see and the videos where we see online, and the fact that they've been bailed them out uh, for nights because they know, say, because people know allow the matter to uh, reach the next morning. But but it's not the conversations we happen. And I think Don't Talk I'm in getting your own views regarding this.